The medial cuneiform is one of the bones of the foot. It is located approximately in the middle of the inside of the foot and articulates with several key bones. This bone is one of a group of three bones known as cuneiform bones after their distinctive wedge-like shapes. Fractures of the cuneiform bones can occur, usually as a result of sports injuries. Treatments for fractured or bruised bones in the foot can vary, depending on the bones involved. Also known as the first cuneiform, the medial cuneiform is the biggest cuneiform bone. It articulates with the first and second metatarsals, the long bones connecting to the toes, along with the navicular bone and the second cuneiform. Anatomically, the medial cuneiform is positioned between the navicular bone in the ankle and the metatarsals in the front of the foot. Numerous bones articulate in the feet to allow for a full range of motion in the foot while distributing standing weight. Humans have somewhat unique anatomy designed to accommodate their habit of walking upright. The feet must be capable of dealing with very high pressure while walking and running, and the bones of the feet have specifically evolved to deal with the high impact stress experienced by the feet during human locomotion. Bones in the feet can be injured by blows to the feet, as well as falls where the feet are twisted or folded on themselves. People with fractures or bruises to bones like the medial cuneiform can experience difficulty walking and usually notice that their feet are painful and swollen. Redness from inflammation can occur, and the tenderness in the foot can make it difficult to don closed shoes. Feet are difficult to cast because of their shape and the range of movement required. A fracture of the media cuneiform can vary in severity and will be assessed with an X-ray to explore treatment options. Mild fractures of a bone like the medial cuneiform may heal with rest and a walking cast to immobilize the foot. In other cases, surgery may be required to pin the bone and clean out bone fragments associated with the fracture. One concern with fractures of this bone is necrosis caused by an interrupted blood supply. The longer a fracture is left untreated, the greater the chances of tissue death in the bone as a result of inadequate supplies of blood. It is important to see a doctor for an evaluation after a foot injury to determine whether x-rays to check for fractures are needed.